Hi, welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to take this picture that I took out at a bird refuge before there were a lot of birds. <laughs> it wasn't a very good picture. And I'm gonna make it more interesting. I'm gonna add a sunrise and I'm gonna put a dragon here in the front. So first I had to pick my sky. This is the one I decided to pick because I liked, I just liked the way it looked. And there are plenty of free skies you can get all over the internet. Just find one that you like. All right, so the first thing I did was I actually moved it up here to the horizon, a little bit below the horizon. And then I kind of, I wanted to squish it a little just to make the clouds more dramatic. And then I need to get rid of this hard line here. So if you come down here to the, and click mask layer and put a mask on it and then come up to the gradient tool, we're going to start at the top and we're just going to drag it down to, well, just above the bottom and I'm actually gonna pull that down too there we go because I want some of the mountains to come through all right that should be good now we can fix that by clicking on the mask and getting the brush tool and with the white paint we can actually just brush back in a little bit here and then if we switch to the black paint, now we can just brush it off of the mountains. Oops, I got a little too much off there. We can brush a little bit more off the mountains and then we'll put the white paint back on and fix the spots that I messed up. There we go. All right, so now I want to take this sky and kind of reflect it back into the water. So we're gonna click on the sky layer and do Control J to duplicate it. And then I'm going to just click on the bottom one and go up here to arrange and flip vertical. And then we're going to drag it down to where it meets that one. And I just squish it. There we go. And then I'm actually, I don't like this hard line here. So I'm going to come back into the mask and click the brush tool and make it a little bit bigger. And with the black, I'm going to just go over that line. And then we're going to change the opacity in the blend mode here in a second. But I just want to get it kind of like that. And then we're going to change the whole layer to uh, maybe screen. Maybe not. Maybe we'll do soft light. No, we'll do overlay. <laughs> you pick the one that looks best for your picture. I might change it again. All right, but we also, why did it do that? There we go. We also um, need to blur it because the water is not very still, but the clouds are really clear, so it doesn't look right. So I'm just gonna come down to adjustments, wait, not adjustments, sorry, the live filters, and do Gaussian blur, and we're just going to Blur it a little so you can still see the clouds, but they're not crystal clear. There we go. Now that looks more like a reflection. All right. Next thing I needed to do was, or wanted to do, I guess, <laughs> was I actually wanted to make the colors in here a little more intense. So I just got an HSL adjustment. And I'm just going to raise the saturation a little. And that actually does the whole picture, which is fine. All right, now I'm gonna add a sun. I need a sun for my sunrise. So the way I did that was come down to live filters and go to lighting and put that on top. And I'm gonna want two different lighting la layers. Even though you can add as many different lights as you want, I, I want two different layers because I'm gonna blend them differently. So this one is gonna be a point. It's gonna be our sun. I'm just gonna put it right here where everything kind of comes together. And uh, normally when I use the lighting tool, I just get rid of the specular because I think it just makes everything too harsh in the middle. But in this case, I want a little bit because it's my son. So just a little, maybe 30% or so. It doesn't need to be a lot. And then I shrink it just a bit. All right, and this one is going to stay normal. I'm not gonna change anything. We're gonna go ahead and rename it sun though so I can remember which is which and now I'm going to get another lighting layer 
and that's going to go on top of that one. And this one is going to be the spot. But we're going to spin it around. And I want it to be the light that's kind of coming from the sun across to where our dragon's going to be. So we are going to also change the blend mode to soft light. And then we can mess with the opacity here. Something like that. I want it to be sort of darkish around the edges. More bright here in the center. I can move these in and play with it and see how it looks. Maybe we'll move this down a little. All right. So that's what we have so far. So now I want to put a dragon right here. And this is the dragon that I'm going to use. This is what it looks like. I'm going to drag it down underneath our lighting layers, but above everything else. And the first thing I want to do is make a shadow for it. Because it, it, right now it looks weird. So we need to make it look like it's sitting on the grass. So there's a lot of different ways to make a shadow. But this one, all it needs is just a nice soft little light or a nice not light a nice soft shadow under there it doesn't need anything harsh so i'm just going to come down here and add a pixel layer and i'm going to put that underneath our dragon and just get the brush tool with not quite black like 90 percent black and maybe make it a little smaller and then i'm just going to sort of paint where i want my shadow and we're actually going to change the blend mode to multiply and if you accidentally do something wrong, like too much shadow or something, that's fine. It can just be erased. So but we are going to change the opacity a little bit too. All right. Doesn't need to be dark because there aren't really a lot of harsh dark shadows around, so we don't want to make a really harsh shadow for our dragon. But it's not quite finished because where the shadow meets the dragon, it, there's a lot of light right there, so it still looks unnatural. So we are going to call this one shadow. And then we're going to make another pixel layer. We're going to put this one on top of the dragon. And then we're actually going to select the dragon and then go up here to select and then selection from layer. And now we're going to go back while it's still selected and click on our new pixel layer that we just made. And with the brush tool, still on the 90% there, we're going to go in and maybe make this brush a little smaller. And we're just going to brush along where the shadow meets the dragon. And then we'll blend all this too in a second. But it's only going to paint in the selection. It's not going to paint outside of it which is why we're painting while it's selected. But just, just where it touches the ground, maybe a little under here. Yeah. There we go. Something like that. Now, Control D deselects, and that looks a lot better, but we're also going to change it to multiply and maybe change the opacity just a little. And that's kind of harsh right there. I might want to go in there and erase it. There we go. <laughs> I pushed the E too many times. All right. Oh, just a little. We, I'm going to change the opacity on our eraser here to like 50%. It right, just erases just a little. All right. Now. I'm going to change this actually to shadow on dragon. So I remember what layer that is. So now I want to add a few highlights to my dragon because where the sun is coming from behind and there's always or already a little light there, but we want to really make it look like the sun is hitting him from behind. So we're going to add another pixel layer and we're going to get the white paint this time with the brush tool and we're going to select the dragon again selection from layer and then just come up to the new layer we're actually call this one highlight 
and we're going to come in and just paint white just kind of just on the edge this is actually probably too much let's start over Control z just gets rid of it and <laughs> we'll start over it's hard to do with just my mouse here but that's what i have to use today so we're just going to put a little bit of white wherever we think that maybe a highlight might be Like nothing's going to be highlighted in here because this is away from the sun, but maybe along the horn here, maybe right there, maybe this foot has a highlight. All right. Now we're going to change that. We can actually do control D to get rid of it. Now we're going to change it or get rid of the selection. We're going to change it to overlay and that just sort of brightens everything up. And now that looks a lot better, but the dragon still could use some more help. So we are going to click on the dragon again. And in order to bring in some of the surrounding colors, my favorite way of doing that is to go to adjustments and gradient map, and then drag the gradient map down onto the dragon. There we go. And now we're going to use the red over here as our shadow color. So click on the red get the eyedropper tool and find a dark color that could be a good shadow. We'll just use the dark blue over here. And green is our mid-tone. So a good mid-tone color. I think we're going to use one of these browns. That might be too dark. Let's pick a lighter brown. That's still too dark. Let's just lighten it, I guess. There we go. All right, and a highlight color. We'll just pick the white in the middle there. And now for the blend mode. Uh, it could be a lot of different things depending on your picture. Sometimes multiply works, sometimes linear light works really well. And in this case it might because it gives it kind of a shine and dragons are scaly and shiny, but I think it might be too much for this, but let's try it. We're gonna turn the opacity all the way down and start at zero and slowly go up to where I like it. And this one, I don't know, it doesn't look bad, but I'm not sure I like it. So let's try, let's try overlay or soft light. I like overlay, I like overlay better. <laughs> Every picture is gonna want a different blend mode. There we go. And also because we've got some pinks going on in here, I think it wouldn't hurt to just make one more pixel layer and put it on top of everything else. And we're going to call this one pink highlight. And we're going to get just the brush tool. Make sure we have that. And I always push the B too many times and go too far. There we go. We want the paint brush tool. But first we need to select our dragon again. There we go. And then go back up to our pink highlight layer. And we're going to get the eyedropper and we're going to just get a real light color. This one might actually be not quite right. Let's see. No, yeah, we'll try it. All right. We're going to go in and just put a little pink right along the edge. Yeah, that might not be pink enough. Maybe a little on this horn. And we're going to change this to overlay as well. Yeah, it might not be pink enough. Let's change it again. Let's get something pinker. I want something bright and pink. That one might be too white. Let's try this one and see how that does. I just want a little bit. There we go. Just a little, a little hint of pink. Not a lot. Now we'll zoom out, do control D to get rid of our selection. And let's look at the whole picture. Yeah, let's look at the before and after. See, it just adds just a little color barely noticeable but you will notice 
All right. And that's, that's pretty much it. We could do a lot of other things. We might actually do one more. We might go to levels. Just put that at the very top and just kind of overall change the look of the whole picture together as a whole. Just, oh, that was too much. Just maybe barely darken it. Maybe not even darken it at all. Maybe lighten all the lights because, you know, it's morning. There we go. Uh, one more thing we can do is come down here and actually just make a new layer at the very top there and get, get the brush tool again. This time we just want white. Here, let's just go here and get white and make it small. You could also just do dodging, but this works usually pretty well. We're just going to go to overlay. Just made his eye shiny. And if you want to make it shinier, just do control J. There we go. And now we'll take those three and just do control G and group them and call it bright eye. And now he's got a bright eye just because that looks kind of fun. And we could go back in and make the shadows more shadowier with some dodging and burning and stuff, but I'm going to just leave it like that. That looks pretty good. So I hope you found something useful in this video. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more. And thanks for watching.